Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a continuation of the previous video. So, previous video on my channel, I showed how to set up the dev environment from start to finish. We're setting up a private server using Racing Rivals as an example with old DLL based Unity games. Today, I wanted to show you how to do it with a classes.dex file, which is very different. You're going to need a couple other tools for that. So the game that we're going to use is an old game called Drag Racing 1.1.17 by Creative Mobile. Now the reason we're using this really old version of the game, even though it is still currently playable in a different state, is because the new release, they converted the whole game to Unity 3D and kind of combined Drag Racing 4x4, Drag Racing Bikes, um, and the original Drag Racing game kind of all into one game. So... With 1.1.17, I really enjoyed the multiplayer aspect of how that game works specifically versus how it works in the new game. Also, the new game has six different currencies in it. If you do not mod the APK, you are not going to be competitive in that game at all. Plus, the physics are just really terrible for basically a flash game. Um... The fastest car in the game, you do not leave second gear. You just mash on the NOS and launch. And it's the fastest car in the game, even though you tire spin all the way down the track. It's kind of awful. But with DR 1.1.17, that's when the physics of the game were actually still good. So I'll open it up real quick to remind you guys what game this is in case you don't remember. Yeah, it's this game. A lot of you should remember it, where it was just this basic 2D drag racing game in a similar art style to, like, kind of Drag Racer V3 vibes. Um, go back. Go race. Race offline, because online don't work. Basically, just rev it. It'll auto-launch for you, because that's how it did it in this game. And then you just shift here. Very basic game. But the new version of the game, it just doesn't feel right. They didn't try to emulate the physics. And it's not fun, unfortunately. So, why don't we remake the old servers? Now, to do this is a little bit different. You need different uh, tools. First of all, you need the APK, obviously. I'm going to do a uh, different folder here. We're going to copy this into here. So basically, you need to open up the APK. Go to the... Oh, there is no library folder. Wow. Okay. So all you need to do is make sure the APK works. You know, install it to whatever you use and uh, basically test it out. Make sure it works offline. And then what you need to do is actually get a tool like a Easy APK tool. I know I said I would make videos on the new APK tools, but sorry, I haven't had the chance to care. Um, back to drag racing tutorial, and you want to just like drag and drop this into it, and you want to decompile the entire app. Once you decompile the app, it's going to decompile the classes.dex files, which, once those are decompiled, there's another tool you need, which is uh, JADX, which is a Java uh, viewer, basically. You want to run the GUI version. And what you want to do is open up the APK. Just open the whole APK because it'll auto detect the classes files. And what you want to do is basically the same as the previous game. You want to just basically search uh, once it decompiles. You want to search for strings. So, HTTP. Now, we have an idea of what the uh, URL is for the game, thanks to using Fiddler. Um, it's not this one. I've seen it. Hold on. Here it is. So there's a couple different URLs. 
but they're all in the same file. So this is CB, which you can find by, I believe, going com, creative mobile, drag racing. Ah, it's not there. Where are you located? I can actually see it here where it's located. Oh, HTTP. It's located com creative mobile engine CB. So com creative mobile engine and CB. So as you can see, all the URLs are in here. And if you scroll down, you'll see like the save files, the races.dat. It gives you a lot of the stuff that's in here already. You can see that there's a lot of the server communication actually in this CB file. The car stats are here. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can modify in here. The game ID and what variables it's basically sending to the server. But you can also see all that with, uh, and even kind of the info that it wants back. But you can also see all this a little bit more easily and a little bit uh, just overall in a better way with um, Fiddler. So I recommend doing it that way with this game at least. But you know where these files are. So now what you need to do is go to your easy APK tool, APK easy tool, and open up the decompiled directory. You want to go to your, oh yeah, you can't see that monitor. Your DR1117, go to your Smalley. And you know it's com creative mobile engine CB. So actually you can speed it up by just typing CB. And now this is where you're going to need something like Notepad++. Because what you're going to want to do is once you have this open, you need to edit these URLs, which is very simple. So you basically just edit this to whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to be like techx.onl. And honestly, what I like to do is when they have them separated like this, Sometimes I like to remake these subdomains, and I only put in uh, the domain. I change the domain, but I keep these, so I can kind of keep track of what they were. But you don't always have to do that. And sometimes it's actually just easier to do something like uh, dr1117 slash. And you can do that for basically everything. Any place there's a URL, change it. And then you can also go back, so you can save this now. And now you can go back. It's not going to change anything in here, but you at least know what that uh, the URLs were. So they were code.ru. So you can just do code.ru. And you can make sure there's not something anywhere else that you need to change so it looks like there is uh, there is another spot in specifically Q that you want to edit mm, I don't see it in here uh, let's do code.ru uh, there we go so that one's hard-coded for some reason so a way you could actually get around that is find a spot where, which one was it? Hold on. Oh, you're going to have to change it everywhere in here. Oh my gosh, they don't even use the variables. Holy cow, this is stupid. Okay. So I'm going to tell you an easier way to do this. So do find next. You know that it's acm.mastercode.ru. Change it to techx.onl and do replace all. Next, you want to find the next place that there is. Uh, you know, there it is. So now it's cmobile.mastercode.ru. Replace all. There's only one spot for that. CMT. I'm so used to CMD. Oops. Replace all. Only two places for that. And that's the only places you had to change. So. 
I don't see this other one. I think I did pretty much all of these now. And a good way to know is to just go into your APK Easy Tool, cancel. Go into your APK Easy Tool, now that you've uh, edited everything, and do Compile. So we're going to compile the edited APK. And in a moment, what we'll do is reopen the APK and make sure that everything has been edited in the classes.dex. Uh, so you can see it is currently smollying the classes files, which is basically a similar equivalent from what I'm told to like ASM with the DLL files or EXE files. Building the APK, signing the APK, signed successful. Now what we can do is uh, open up compiled directory. Here's this. We're just going to cut it out of here, and we're going to put it in here. Uh, I don't think it's going to let me. So we need to go games, Android, drag racing, tutorial. Put it here. And then you just want to reload that folder. So what we're basically going to do is just search again. HTTP colon slash slash. And as you can see, everything except one or two places was changed. So I have to go back in and find these again. So we do, well, what was that? Code.ru? Yeah. So these two places I still have to find the code for and edit those in the Smalley. So I'm going to act like I did that. And then the next part is very similar actually to um, doing it with Bracing Rivals in the previous video. Open up your folder on your PC for sharing stuff with uh, Nox. Open up the modding folder you have. Drag and drop the APK that you've modified. Open up Lucky Patcher. Go to the rebuild. Go SD, uh, SD card. Sorry. Open this up and then do rebuild, resign with test signature, and do this one. And then resign it. And there we go. So now, just refresh this folder. Here's the re-signed APK. Apparently it already had the other thing. Uh, so we're going to just cut that out of here. So as you can see, the target application has a test signature, so only removes integrity check. Oh, so the removes integrity check and signature verification option is disabled. Okay. But it did at least re-sign it properly. So we can actually come back in. You shouldn't get that error if you have the original APK. I probably re-signed this APK and forgot at some point with Lucky Patcher. But at that point, now you can drag and drop it to your... Uh, Android emulator and try to run it and basically monitor it with Fiddler. So I hope you guys enjoyed a tutorial on some old school modding of the classes.dex and I'll have to talk to you guys later. Peace out.